Hey gang, Rob here. It is Tuesday, May 29th, and as you can see, I'm back out at Matt Totlot that I got 167 coins in two days, and I have visited numerous other times. And guys, I just got a 12 signal after getting a zinc penny here and a quarter and a zinc penny there. Um, I got a 12 reading, so it was screaming at me, and I didn't even have to dig. It was just below the, uh, the chips, guys, and there'd be no need to film a nickel today unless it had that big P above the Monticello Dome. You flip it over, guys, and it's a 1944, I believe, P. My second war nickel, guys, on a freaking tot lot in the city. Alrighty. Alrighty, guys, the next signal. You have 40, bouncy 38, 40, 42, the reading after the nickel, and there's a quarter, guys. The machine got multiple readings here, and they were all coin readings. Took a penny there, nickel here, and I got a quarter reading right here. There's the quarter. So there's three coins out of this spill so far. Let's see what else is here. I am directly under the monkey bars. Okay, it says we have another penny there. We're gonna go dig that one. Well guys, I've said it before. It doesn't get any easier when you don't have to dig for them. That's a free quarter. Alrighty gang, I actually remembered to sweep the machine over where the surface quarter was. I got a 36 reading and I did not get a dime or a penny, but we got a nickel and another quarter directly below the surface quarter. I'll take a three coin spill. Outstanding. Guys, obviously with Tropical Storm Alberto out there, we've gotten a lot of rain. We don't get a lot of coin balls in Florida because we got sand. But guys, when your sand's wet, you can kind of get an in situ coin. Is that a penny or a dime? It is a Roosevelt dime. All right. Gang, right after that dime in the side of the plug, we got a faint 42 signal here. It said it was deep, but it doesn't feel to be that deep. And there it is, guys. Look at that nice coin impression. Yeah, you gotta like that wet soil. Quarter a day, guys. I think that's only our second or third one. All right few feet from the quarter we got ourselves a 3840 signal that looks like we missed it a little bit there it is down there we popped it out with that shovel full and it is another rosy dime okay guys Literally a foot from that rosy dime. We got another one. Yeah, it says it's 10 inches, but that ain't gonna be 10 inches. Not with that strong of a signal. All right, let's dig something live here. I'm actually digging with the right hand and filming with the left hand. Uh, yeah, I gotta admit this softer soil with the rain has definitely been helping. There it is. Is that it? Or is that the impression? Oh, that was it. There it is. Another rosy dime right dead center in the middle of the hole, guys. Outstanding. Guys, a few feet from that rosy stuck dead center in the plug. I got a 36 signal here. I went to dig it and I saw something shiny. Guys, you don't have to dig for them when they're laying on the top and it's not a penny. It's another rosy dime. Nice new shiny one. Well, guys, we're right here next to the edge of the basketball court doing this little narrow strip of grass here. And you know how kind basketball edges of basketball courts have been to me. So we'll see if this is a big hunk of metal or a quarter. Wow, guys, we got signals all over the place here. Okay, there's one. There's a quarter. So whatever else we get out of here is just going to be bonus. Let me see what all these other signals are. Okay, gang, there wind up being five signals. Two quarters, a nasty zinc penny, 
and a little piece of two pieces of metal. All right, guys, we've gotten a lot of coins since the last time we filmed, but I'm walking to the car. It's about two inches down. Film with the left hand and flip a little. All right, let's see if we do have a quarter here, guys. Head into the car. Yes, we do. Look at that. Another quarter today, guys. Oh, that's a great way to finish up heading to the car. All right. Hey gang, Rob here. Here's the recap from yesterday's hunt at, down at the uh, inner city park with my tot lot that I've hunted numerous times before and found the 167 coins in two days that we did the giveaway several months ago. Not a lot of trash, guys. One aluminum fence tie shows I'm in a park. That's actually a piece of barbed wire. Just full, four pull tabs and one of them was on the surface. An old battery. And this is some finial cap with threads in it. Probably top piece of a lamp or something, guys. And then this is one of the threaded hex head bolts, I'm sure, is screws for one of the uh, pieces of equipment on the um, playground because it's got the same color paint. And guys, this piece of glass was just sitting on the surface like that. Some kid catches a knee or something on that. That's a bad day. Uh, my sister had that happen to her when she was a little kid. Eight stitches in the knee. Um have no idea what that is that's a piece of lead and uh, a lot of surface glass guys we took out of there I don't know why this park always has a lot of glass and this was buried with one of the coins guys this would have been a really cool little bottle if that would have been complete okay guys we did phenomenal with the coins and the coins guys we got 13 clad quarters outstanding we got 21 dimes, had no idea we had that many dimes, okay? We got four clad nickels. We got 16 copper pennies, including a 60 and a 62, so only two years from a weedy. But that's our most uh, copper pennies in a long time. Of course, we were seeking out 36 signals. And guys, I dug 31 zinc pennies, and I bet I left 40 or 50 zinc pennies there when I got tired. Um, obviously you didn't see most of this because I'd found some of it before I even started filming because like I say I was just coin shooting for coin amount. Um, at our metal detecting club meeting every month we have a uh, fines table uh, with eight different categories and one of the categories is um, clad coins found and we give little prizes for the winner of each category and guys the same guy for the 12 or 14 months that I've been a member of this club the same guy has won for most clad coins every month. Well, I'm, I'm going to try and beat him this month. I've Nobody's ever beat this guy since I've been a member, but I am digging a lot of tot lots. I'm getting coins, and I'm, I'm going to go challenge him this month for most coins found in a month. Um, I'm already over 300 for the month for coins found. So uh, that's all the clad coins. And guys, obviously the find of the hunt is the 1943 35% silver war nickel. Um, it's pretty worn, um, but you can see it's got a little bit of that silver, silver shine to it. There we go, guys. You're not gonna believe it, but that took over a minute of waiting for that camera to focus. There's the back with the big Philadelphia P on the back. And there's a 1943. It's worn, guys, but I don't care. My second Silver War Nickel in literally seven days. I found one yesterday was Tuesday, and I found one last Wednesday. So in seven days, I found... Hi, kitty. I found two War Nickels and a silver ring this week. So three pieces of silver this week. Outstanding. Oh, the brother's here, too. They love it when the back door is open. It doesn't get open much in the summer with the AC on, but it's raining, and I wanted to get more light into the into the dining room for the video so that's it guys quick recap oh the coins added up to the clad coins without this nickel added up to six dollars and two cents uh, I was probably there somewhere around two and a half hours so it wasn't a short hunt but uh, for a tot lot that I've hunted four or five times in a park I've hunted six or seven times this is phenomenal guys and I left a lot of signals there that we'll be going back for alrighty thanks for watching guys like share comment
How could I forget to include Milo? Hi, Milo, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. He says he don't like the rain either. I know, buddy. Tell him we're over this storm. So you can see, obviously, everybody gets along here well. Okay.